Region 19 Sped Lounge. Yes. So Melissa and I have been doing this for like a year now mm -hmm. and we got through interviewing all of our staff. We're able to get their information out on who they are and that was yes. important to us. We yes. wanted people to know in our special education department at Region 19 at our Education Service Center, we wanted everybody to know who is working so hard behind the scenes and all the wonderful networks that are there to support yes. our children who have diverse needs and diverse learning abilities. This is <laughs> Dr. Armando Aguirre. You just wanted me to say his name. Yes, right. Um, he's our uh, executive director for ESC Region 19. I'm so excited. Our, our intent was to have the best newspaper possible. Of course. And compete. And so we reached a point where we competed in New Mexico and we oh. actually won the best of show. Ooh, that's awesome. That's yeah, amazing. Yeah. So when you think about it, right, you have these students from Jefferson High School um, who, I, there was one time uh, where I actually was in a, our first tournament, our first comp writing competition, a UIL competition, mm -hmm. and they actually, one of the sponsors, not that he was being ugly, I think he was trying to be funny, and right. he, said, uh, he said, Jeff showed up. Ooh, you know, and challenge thought, met. Like, yeah, challenge accepted. <laughs> right? So then, that first first competition, it was amazing because we won. Ah, uh, nice. Oh, so then see? I was able to look at him like, so what do you think of Jeff? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, Jeff showed up. And as I did that for two years, but then the superintendents I started working with through that are the ones that encouraged me to apply for the job I have now. That's amazing. They're the ones that said, you know what, you need to be. This is great because you help us quite a bit. Mm -hmm. But you would help us more if you were at the service center. You were over here. And so. That's what happened, and that's what happened, and I was very fortunate to be selected. Yes. And I was, you know, and so now, you know, the rest is the rest is history, you know. But they, well, actually, it's not history because we're still writing the book. Yeah, exactly. Right. I was going to yeah. say yeah. the story's we're, we're not, not done yet. Story's well, not done yet. And the story yeah. you're telling is what we look at in special education under transition, talking about give the student the opportunity, let them succeed. Then mm -hmm. how can I impact elsewhere? And you just grow and grow and grow until you end up with what I assume is your dream job. I don't know if, if you're looking <laughs> for something more. else, right? Yeah. For another well, this chapter. Is, this is definitely uh, something that I'm, I'm very proud of. And right. I think we're, we're in a position, and I say we're because you guys are, are part of that team, where we can really impact and, and have a, a positive push to for student success. Exactly. Yes. And, and yes. That's, yeah. that's what I'm most proud of. Yeah, know. that's definitely yeah. something we we sense there. So knowing mm -hmm. when you were going in, what did you know about the Education Service Center? Like what was your, how did that grow in your understanding of what it is? Because there's still people, and one of the reasons mm -hmm. we're here at Kate Box that we really want to promote what we do at the Education Service Center is so people understand what it is. Because I still yeah. get asked, you know, what district do you work for? And I'm well, like, you, you work oh. for EPISD, <laughs> right? <laughs> you support no. everybody. Uh, so yeah. what were, what? how did you know about the Service Center? What did you know yeah. about it? Well, I'll be honest, when I first, first was, was a principal and I thought of the, of the region service center, I, I would think more of uh, media services. Okay. Helping, helping in that capacity. Yeah. If you needed, if you needed microphones or if you needed, you know, video cameras, uh -huh. that would be the place to go and Do you get think that. that ties because of your journalism experience? Like you relied on the service center for that kind of support? You know, that's a, that's a very good possibility that, that that's why that was a service I saw and that's mm -hmm. the, the, hence why I, I saw it for that. But, um, it wasn't until I was at, at at Mission, Missionary mm -hmm. College, that I started seeing a little more and, and, and seeing the value that, that it brought. Definitely by the time I got to UTEP, mm -hmm. and it was assistant provost there, and the meetings with the superintendents, and the meeting with my predecessor, who, who was part of that, we would get together and have conversations. And then I started seeing what they brought to the table, but I also saw what they could bring to the table. Ah, you know? there we go. I like that. And, and yeah. I think that's kind of what, when it, when the opportunity came up, at first I was not uh, too too sold on the idea because I thought I, I, I can help from here. Right. But the more I talked to the superintendents, the more they convinced me that there's more we can do there. Mm -hmm. And so they're right. They're right. I mean, being at the, yeah. at the, the service center now, what I've noticed is that it wasn't that it wasn't already in place. There's a lot of great things happening. Yes. But to your point, no one knew about it. And that mm -hmm. really continues to be the, the charge, right? To yes. How do, we how do we expand our, our um, 
our base. You know, how do we get mm -hmm. more people to understand the value of what the service center brings? Right. It's just always try to do what's right for um, for those around you and try to see if, the, if you can get more mileage out of those that work with you, then those who are going to benefit are going to be the students. And ultimately, that's the goal. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's why we're here. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. But we yeah. thank you so much for joining us. Oh, so cute. It wasn't pleasure. too bad, right? Oh, it's over? No, you super <laughs> <crazy. laughs> yeah, yeah, I love that. Yeah. That's what we get from yeah. everybody. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's not too bad. This is great. This is great. I'm so nice. glad you guys are doing this, uh, making, making people aware of the various uh, fractions of education mm -hmm. because it's a... Uh, it's, uh, like we were saying earlier, right, it, it all ties together. Yeah. And so you'll hear from other people and you've heard from others. And so if you put them and it's a puzzle, even if they don't un uh, uh, say anything about the others, if you just listen close enough, there's that puzzle and it, and it becomes, they're just pieces of the puzzle. That right. Make the whole. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We all need each other. Yeah, so, and sure. that's very evident when we work, we all come together yeah. uh, with the same goal in mind. So we appreciate that. So we're glad you're here to represent. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank yeah. you all so much. Thank you for what you do. <laughs> appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank Good you. vibes only. Our 19th yeah. yeah. bed lounge. Good vibes. Good vibes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> thanks. Right. And thanks for coming. And thank you for letting me We miss this marvelous Melissa. Right. But thank you so much for sitting I'm glad in. I could fill in. Yes. <laughs> Who do we have with us? We have Mr. <laughs> Coro Rodriguez. She keeps making me say the Spanish name. Like, I can pronounce them any better than she okay. could. Uh, our director of our Head Starts for Region 19. That's huge. Huge, yes. by the way. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. You, big you're the, you lay the yes. foundation. You guys are the beginning. Yes. And we're yeah. the largest Yes, Texas. I know. Yeah. That's why I'm saying it's Texas. huge when I say yes. that. I really mean it. What it was created for. What's the foundation of what Head Start is? Some people still might not know what that is. You pass by them because, by the way, there's how many locations? How 32, many sites? 32, 32 Head Start sites. centers from Anthony all the way to Del City. Yeah, that's so, yes. Unbelievable. And they're small, medium, and large um, yes. centers. Mm -hmm. yeah. Schools, right? Yes, schools. Yeah. So. I love that. Yeah, so tell us a little bit about that. So the, the premise of Head Start is that it is the stepping stone. It is the stepping stone to children um, that are considered underprivileged, if you will, mm -hmm. that, um, you know, need that start, that head start, like really the words represent what it really does for you. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you it provides children that strong, early development that they need in order to be able to, um, if you will, um, be at the same level as their peers. Um, I have to ask you really quick before we go, so how was it being here and talking? Oh my well, goodness. How are you feeling? I'm feeling so good. <laughs> I, was, I was so nervous, but you know, you, you make me feel like we're just at home Having a chatting, chatting. Over the things that you're most Abs passionate yes. about because we and everybody here in the community deserves to know yes. about the hard work but also how inspiring it is when you do the things that you love so much and that's mm -hmm. truly what you do so we appreciate you yes. so much thank you so much for being with us yes, and you know if i just us. may send out a yeah. message to our community absolutely i just want to tell our community that um Head Start is the premier early childhood education program where your child needs to be at. And I want to tell you also that we have open enrollment all throughout the year. So it's a big come deal. on over and visit yes. us because we're here to serve you. That's thank amazing. you so thank much. You. Yes. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you all. We'll see you next time. All right. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. I'm feeling like good.